Hey y'all, what's good? I am Mel the Scientist, and boy do I have a fun one for you today. So out there in the multiverse, a variant of myself is living her geologist, gemologist fantasy right now. In this reality, I am only a biology for medicine major and lab technician. However, somewhere out there, I am digging up gemstones and finding new species of rock and stuff another lifetime but today i'm going to try and get a glimpse into what this version of me is currently doing right now and i'm going to be digging up all 12 birthstones and i'm talking diamonds emeralds rubies sapphires all the famous stones all 12 stones are located in this digging brick and i I'm going to use my excavating tools to unearth every single one. Now there's a 1 in 12 chance that I'm going to dig up the diamond first. Let's see if I'm correct. I don't gamble, however, I think it's a good chance that the diamond is probably all the way at the bottom because that's how they do. But actually, you know what, I am going to bet that. I'm going to bet that the diamond is all the way at the bottom because of course that would be the last thing they put in there. I'm probably gonna get like garnet or aquamarine or something like that. Not to be shady. <laughs> my favorite stone is opal, which is also my birthstone for October. But I highly doubt I'll pick that one first. Let's see. Oh, okay, well this is pretty easy to chip already. Good, because I've done this before. Not with this. I've done it, um, I've done a similar thing to this where it took me a good two hours to unearth three stones and i really hope that that's not the case here but you can kind of already see that i've made a pretty good dent in it without even really trying too hard i can't wait to see how much of this i have to edit down don't mess my shirt up don't do that oh oh i'm getting i'm getting there I'm getting in there you know what this is pretty easy to dig i'm so glad they made life easier okay well this okay this is probably a little bit easier than i expected okay also let me know down in the comments what your birthstone is <gasps> oh 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 a stone a stone a stone there's a stone oh it's right on top too oh it's definitely not a diamond I don't know if you can see it, but the stuff, it's like right there. It's like right there. I'm about to get it out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ain't no way this is a ruby. Ain't no way this is a ruby. There's no way. It's got to be garnet. There's no way it's a ruby. Oh my God. 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 Is this a ruby? Hold on. Let's ouch so it's got a very it's not dark red so it can't be garnet and it's not really purple either it's like it's not garnet it can't be garnet because garnet is darker than that garnet is dark blood red hold on yeah, garden is darker than that. Oh my god, is this a <gasps> Oh my god, I think I got a ruby. <gasps> oh my god, this is a ruby. This is a genuine ruby, y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> we started out with a ruby. Come on. The next one should not be far behind. If this picture does not move out the way, why is it even here? Except to make life difficult. So we are one out of 12 done, and I've already torn this to shreds. <laughs> oh my god, that ruby is so pretty. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, oh, another one, another one, second one, second one. Which one is it's dark. It's one of the dark ones. You know what? This one's probably garnet. 
I know that's the second time I'm saying that, but there you are, there you are. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What's this one? What's this one? Oh, it's blue. It's dark blue. It's dark blue. Hold on. Oh, oh. Now hold on. Now hold on a minute. Which one could this be? Oh my god, it could be sapphire. Oh, no. A sapphire? No, because it's too dark. I want to say this is blue. This is blue topaz. I don't know if you can see, but this is this is blue topaz. Okay, so I have ruby and blue topaz. Can you even see the there we go. Yeah, there we go. Ruby and blue topaz or the May and December gemstone. No, the July and December gemstone. <laughs> Hey y'all, so before I edited this, I wanted to make sure that I got all the stones correct, right? And unfortunately, I did make another mistake with the blue stones. The second one that I dug up, I called blue topaz, but in reality it was sapphire the whole time. I definitely put money on diamond being the last one I excavate. <gasps> oh, number three, number three. It's green. Oh, oh, yes. Oh my gosh. It's either peridot or, or emerald. You know what? I want to say this is Peridot. Hold on. Don't worry, I'm going to wash all of these so that we can see them more clearly. But I think this is Peridot or Peridot. Is, I think it's both either way. And this is the August birthstone. It's gorgeous lime green. I wonder what the fifth one will Oh, fourth one. I wonder what the fourth one will be. Still won't be diamond. Uh, yep, I know this, let's just say, pearly white appearance. And here we are. Number four is the one, the only, gorgeous June stone pearl. Now, disclaimer, you do not dig up pearls. <laughs> They just added pearls to this digging kit, but a pearl is obviously not a stone that is dug up in rocks. <laughs> However, quite beautiful. Oh, it's, it's here already. Okay, let's see. What? Which one is this? Okay, when I hold up y'all, because I have no idea what this one is. It's like right there. But I don't know what it could be. It can't be diamond. There's no way. Not as big as this is. What in the world is this? What? Oh yeah. wait, now hold on, because this ain't a, this isn't even a stone. Oh my god. I think it's a plastic it's a plastic thing. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna get these stones right around it. Oh my god. I just dug out a stone without even realizing it. This is definitely citrine, I wanna say. Yeah. Um, I wanna say this is citrine, because citrine is yellow. And there's a stone like right next to it and this is number six if i can just get it out yes oh it is the one the only beautiful purple stone 
amethyst. Amethyst is the February stone. It is quite popular and it is quite beautiful. It's a really big stone too. Now what is this? Well, um, so this plastic thing is in here for a purpose, y'all. Lucky number seven is none other than, I have to touch this with my actual hands, the diamond. I knew it was gonna be really small because of course it would be. But that's what this is for to hold this because I would surely lose it. Absolutely. So they're right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lucky number seven. Ooh, it's so pretty. Well, there you go. Well, I was wrong. It wasn't the last one. It was it was actually right in the middle to be fair. <laughs> right in the middle well now that we've peaked <laughs> this is for number eight. Oh, number eight number eight I see it oh number eight and nine aha this is aquamarine the March stone. And I'm filming this in March, so technically it is the stone of the video. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we have ruby, blue topaz, peridot, pearl, citron, amethyst, diamond, and aquamarine. And number nine is actually right here. Oh, got it. This is citron? This is citron. What's... Oh, snap. This is opal. Oh. Okay. Because, you know, low key, I was like, this is kind of look, it kind of looked like citron, but I didn't really get that citron vibe from it. See, this is citron right here. Citron is a beautiful, bright yellow. It's gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Citron is the November stone. And I've already said this, but this is actual citron. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. The fifth stone that I uncovered was not citron, but indeed opal. I've just never seen opal look like this before, so. But opal is literally a class of its own because of how diverse it is. Number 10 is going to be, and 10 is my favorite number. So let's see. It's probably somewhere over here. Oh, I see one already. Oh my god, this is emerald. This is emerald. Yes. Oh my god, this is actual emerald. I hope I don't have my two greens confused. Cause I... God damn it. <laughs> uh, well, um, so this is this is Parada. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is what Peridot looks like. Peridot is very light green, lime green almost. The third one that I uncovered was Emerald the whole time. This is Emerald, this is Peridot. They're two different greens. Oh my goodness.
All right, Garnet, where you at, sweetie? Oh no, my shirt! <gasps> I knew the risks. Yes, yes. This is Garnet. This is definitely Garnet. Yes. Woo. Now I'm definitely right about this one. This is most definitely Garnet because I work with Garnet stones and I know dark red when I see it. It's a beautiful dark blood red, which means the last one, if I'm not mistaken, is Sapphire. Unless it was Sapphire all along and I'm finding Topaz. really similar to the <sighs> so I may have already dug out sapphire <sighs> this is probably aquamarine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, all twelve are out. So, oh, by the way, this is what I thought would be sapphire, but it's definitely aquamarine. You know what? I shouldn't feel bad about this one because they're both a really similar blue. Man, let me see. Okay, well, I'm so ashamed of myself, but not my fault really because most of them are like, well, I mean, we got like three blues, two greens, uh, the opal gave very yellow, two reds, but I knew the difference between the reds, thank goodness. The diamond was completely separated from everybody, and of course, pearl, duh. Well, there you have it. I have unearthed all 12 gemstones, including the diamond, which is right here. I'll put it at the very tip right here. Didn't take that long, thankfully. Be sure to follow my social media because I may give this out to a lucky fan. You never know, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time watching me dig. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Mel the Scientist, and I will be back with some more content. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.